my name is Richard uh, from mr2heaven.com. Today I'm here to show you guys how to install um, steering column covers. As you can see right here. This is a fresh second batch. Really well, well, nice and sturdy. These are nicely made. Look at some of the details of the steering column cover. It looks very similar to the OEM one. Installing these covers is going to be pretty easy. Um, first, you're going to want to install the bottom cover onto the steering column using these three um, screws. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. Set this down. I'm going to tilt this after I install the bottom cover so it makes it easier for you guys to see. This is the bottom cover. When you're installing this, you want to make sure you have the indents right here. There's one and two. They're going to be inserted into these two holes right here, right next to the threads. It helps line everything up, which is pretty neat. So <clears throat> let's do this. I'm going to make sure the indents are in and all the holes line up so you know it's in when you try to shake it and this column cover is not going anywhere so i have all three holes lined up one two three and i'm gonna screw them in screw these uh screws in when you're tightening these screws don't use power tools use your uh, phillips that way you don't break things just what I like to do. So I got two in, and I got the game the dirt one in. So the dirt one is in. So by doing this, you make install installation a lot easier because you're not like trying to hold this while you're fiddling with the top cover and whatnot. So I'm gonna rotate this back. just doesn't want to stay in place so after installing the bottom cover we're gonna take the top cover and the remaining two Phillips screws you're gonna need these they're about one inch thick I mean one inch long so you're gonna to want to do the right side which is this side first you want to align this side So I'm just going to put this cover on top of the bottom cover just, just for a second. A lot of people have been asking me or asking us that this gap you see right here, whether or not it is normal. See this is flush, this side is flush, and this is gap on the other side. Well, rest assured, this is normal, and everything will line up when you're installing it on to the cover, column cover, I mean, steering column. So, I'm just gonna stick this here. Hopefully you guys get a better view. Let's see. Yep. So you're gonna wanna line all the clips and tabs here. Uh, to bad idea I'll just put it here you're gonna want to align all the tabs on this side once you do that you're gonna want to hold the top piece with your 
left hand or something so that it doesn't spring back out. And while you're doing that, you're going to want to use one of those Phillips screws that you had laying around, hopefully nearby, and screw in the, the corresponding side. That way it'll help hold the right side in when you're doing the left side. <clears throat> so I'm just going to screw this in. When you're tightening this, you'll know that it's tight because you'll just feel a very big increase in resistance and that's when you know it's tight and you don't want to go any further. See, I'm using my uh, my left hand to hold the top cover in, piece, in, in place while I'm doing this. So I got the right side in and what's left to do is the other side. So for the other side, you can see this gap that I'm talking about. It's not a big deal because all you do is really like, you just pull this out. Here, look, see, everything's lining up already. It's just some residual stress when they popped it off the mold. So I'm gonna install this side. So I'm going to pull this with my other hand and I'm going to use my right hand this time and I'm going to align everything here. See, once everything's aligned, all you have to do is just snap it down. If it doesn't snap down, that's okay. Um, just hold this still with your other hand. You're going to want to thread in the last Phillips. With, while your, your other hand is still holding the top cover in place. There we go. Again, you don't want to over tighten this. There, when you feel a big step in resistance, you know that it's tightened. about it so there we go so you can see the side is flush you also see that this side is pretty flush there you go snapped it in place all the clips are in place and that's all there is to it guys well, I hope that helped you out. If you guys have any concerns or comments or questions, feel free to let me know. Um, I might have not answered everything today, but I'm always here. You can reach me, you can reach us on our website, through Instagram, through our email, through our Facebook, we're all over the place. So hope that helped. Take care.